Hey Jess, it's Friday. So you may have heard about the musical Peter Pan, which was broadcast live on NBC last night. It starred Allison Williams from the HBO series Girls, as well as Christopher Walken. Now you may have watched it, you may have DVR'd it, you may have absolutely no interest in it. I taped it because I thought my kids might be interested in it. I won't spoil it for you just in case, but as expected, there were mixed reviews and ratings were way down from the first time NBC tried to do this when they did Sound of Music with Carrie Underwood. But I was curious about one thing, and I've been thinking about this for years, and I don't believe I'm the only person who's ever wondered this. Why is the role of Peter Pan in the musical always played by a woman? Now there are the obvious answers. I mean, women play young boys very convincingly on stage. Kids on wires are a bad idea, and Michael Jackson is no longer with us. So I looked it up, and it turns out to be much more than that. See, Nina Boisicol was cast as the very first Peter Pan in the original play of 1904, written by J.M. Barry. It's easy to think of this story originating as a book, but it turns out that it wasn't turned into a novel until 1911, when Barry wrote the book Peter and Wendy. Okay, so the very first Peter Pan was cast with a female lead. Then according to Slate.com, when producer Charles Fr Roman agreed to bring Barry's production to Broadway, he suggested that the role of Peter Pan be played by his protege, Maude Adams. And honestly, who wouldn't listen to Froman? I mean, he is the sausage king of Chicago. I mean, any reasonable per Wait, what's that? No, uh, that's, that was Abe. Abe Froman was a sausage king, sorry. So Froman's reasoning was that if you cast a man, he wouldn't be convincing. And if you cast an actual boy, he wouldn't stand out from all of the other boys on stage. But then there was also this. According to English law at the time, the use of minors under the age of 14 after 9 p.m. on stage was prohibited. And therefore, a tradition was born. Actresses continued to fill the role, and even a 1924 silent movie adaptation starred Betty Bronson in the role of Peter. The full-length production we see now, as was on NBC, originally debuted in 1954 and was directed by Jerome Robbins and starred Mary Martin as Peter. Casting a woman has become the norm in most prominent productions. Only Jack Noseworthy ever played the role on Broadway and he was an understudy. He got to sing one song in a tribute to Jerome Robbins' work and that was only because the principal Peter Pan, Charlotte D'Ambois, couldn't take the stage. Wow, I don't even need to have a watch to know that that was the most I've ever, ever talked about Peter Pan in my entire life. You may not have known this as it was happening, but you just witnessed a personal record. That's something that's very rare for someone my age. Jess, I'll see you on Monday.